In this video, we're gonna compare our updated style transfer tool to Adobe Firefly. If you haven't used style transfer before, it basically means applying the texture or look of one image onto another. Most AIs do fine with simple logos, things like clean shapes or one letter designs, but when the logo gets complex, that's where most tools break. We'll walk through how Logo Diffusion V5 handles it and compare the results with Adobe's. So stick around and see how they stack up. Let's start by showing how the process works inside Logo Diffusion. I'm using a detailed logo most people recognize, Starbucks, and I'll apply a texture from our built-in style gallery. Our gallery has over 100 new styles added, metal, fabric, stone, all kinds of styles ready to try. You can also upload your own. Let's click on the croissant texture and describe the logo with the simple prompt, twin-tailed mermaid with flowing hair and a crown. Now here's the cool part. I don't need to describe the styled image at all. Logo Diffusion automatically analyzes the texture's color, lighting, and surface, explains it to AI, and applies that to the logo. Here's the result. The croissant texture wraps around the logo while keeping the original structure perfectly intact. You can still see every detail of the logo, even with a complex layout like this. Let's try a few more textures on the same logo. Let's choose a, let's choose a metal texture, a padded jacket surface, and finally, Let's pick this slime-like material. On the metal version, notice how it captures clean reflections and edge sharpness. The jacket texture adds just the right amount of volume. It actually feels like fabric. And with the slime, it applies the glossy surface, depth, and translucency, all while keeping the logo's structure intact. Here's some more interesting styles. The important thing here is the complexity of the logo doesn't stop the AI from following it closely, which is not the case with most other AIs. Now let's make a brand new logo and then apply a custom style to it. I'll choose the badge slash crest inside logo design category and enter this prompt. Volleyball sports badge shark in the middle in quotation marks. I'll write volleyball league S1 and let's also write beach element. I'll click enhance to let the prompt enhancer improve the, the prompt and set optimized settings. I'll just set the shape to shield and click generate. These are clean, detailed, and actually feel like finished logos. I'll set my favorite one as the input image. This time I'll upload a coconut image, something rough, natural, and textured. No need to describe it, just upload and the AI handles it. Before we generate, here's a quick breakdown of the settings. Image strength controls how much of the original logo is preserved. Higher values keep more of the logo's details, while lower values give the texture more freedom to take over. Use image colors lets you keep your logo's original colors, but it's best to only use it when your logo colors are already close to the style you're applying. Background separation adjusts contrast between your logo and the background, which helps the design stand out. Style category category helps the AI apply the texture correctly and it actually gets selected automatically based on the texture you choose. I'll keep everything and click generate. You can see how well it translated the texture, the fibrous details, natural roughness, and even lighting direction from the reference are all there. I'll try a few more interesting styles. To show the range, let's also try a simple logo. I'll upload the Nike swoosh and describe it as swoosh-shaped logo, then apply a few textures just like before. As expected, it works well. Simple shapes like this are easy for most systems, but it's good to show the consistency. Now let's run the same tests in Adobe Firefly. We use the exact same logos and textures across both platforms. With basic logos like the Nike, Firefly holds up. The textures come through and the shape stays clear, but as soon as the logo gets more detailed, like the volleyball badge or the Starbucks example, things start to fall apart. You'll see weird shapes, misalignment, or details getting lost. Firefly still works well in certain cases, especially for minimal designs, but if you're working with real world complex logos, it just doesn't hold up the same way. So that's a full walkthrough of our updated style transfer tool tested across logos of all types, from simple icons to layered complex logos. You just saw results from Adobe, one of the biggest design companies in the world, and from us, Logo Diffusion, a small startup built by a team of four people. If you want to test it on your own work, Head to logodiffusion.com. We genuinely can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and let us know what styles you'd try next.